Hey everyone, I'm Corey from Aquarium Co-op. I own this fish store and today I'm going to show you the rarest fish that I feel we've got in the store for sale. Now, as a hobbyist and have done this a long time, we typically get a rare fish caliber than your average store. They're all going to be community fish because that's what we specialize in, but uh, if you watch our unboxings and stuff on the second channel, you know we get rare stuff. We're all hobbyists and we're all going, ooh, I've never seen that before. So there's fish today that I have never seen in person until today. All right, here we've got the copper nose barbs. These guys get about six inches. I've actually never kept them or seen them before. They're quite expensive at 25 bucks a piece, or we've got them six for 130, which is a little bit off. We don't make much money on them because they're just a rarity, but someone is gonna buy this group, take it home, grow it up in a 125 or larger, and have something magnificent that none of us really get to see. So these guys are pretty cool. They're very fast, they've got big mouths. When they get six inches, I have no doubt they'd probably take down some smaller tetras, but they'd be fun to feed uh, freeze-dried krill and bloodworms and all of that too. And I think they could be a decent coal uh, tank if you're breeding guppies or something, you throw the guppies in there once they grow up a little bit and I bet you they would devour them. Keep them with things like rainbow fish and, and like bala sharks and and other things that'll be quick to the food. I always mention that because too often people just buy based on looks and they don't realize this guy is going to starve out the other guy and that's never fun especially when you're buying real expensive fish. All right next up we're in the quarantine room because the last batch sold out but these are the mud fish. Now they got a crazy mouth appendage that reaches out and grabs food. What you're seeing in the tank right at this second is a lot of live baby brine shrimp. They like to eat that. Um, I don't know a whole lot about these because I haven't kept them yet. They're kind of a, you know, a, a, well, I guess a rare fish. That's why we're doing it. So I have no idea how they spawn and I don't even know what we're selling them for. I just know we've sold out. Robert uh, brought them in and they've been a big hit since we did the unboxing and there's not a whole lot of info online. And so they're just kind of a cool fish that someone like me would buy. I would go in there and I would, I would go, I haven't seen these. Let me see if I can keep them alive cool brown derpy fish that uh, you know you probably fall in love with long term they don't seem to be too aggressive with each other but you know who knows maybe with uh, with age they mature out and try to breed all right in this tank we've got the mustache danio this is something i hadn't seen in person i've had people request them i've seen them online they look cool but basically they've got their barbels that hang down way too far and they look just crazy they kind of look like, you know, those might be the, the little fins on a garami or something, but they hang down. They've got that nice modeled pattern to them. And yeah, they're nine bucks a piece, so they're not cheap, but a school of these is not something you see every day. And uh, if you're a Danio connoisseur, you'll be looking for these. And this would be a great thing to maybe pair with something like the copper nose. You know, they're not going to get super duper colorful. They'll put some color on, but mostly you're getting that, uh, that mustache. Daniel, a great one for the family because, you know, they can say, Mom, Dad, the, the mustache fish is doing this. You know, they, they'll retain that name for you. All right, so in here we've got Tiger Placostomus. Dean breeds them for us. We saw these and we thought they were really good. I bought a bunch, got them in Dean's hand. We've been breeding them ever since. So I just want to show you guys. Yeah, they're only 60 bucks. I say only because there's other Plecos I can show you that are 150 plus. So these guys... They're common to our store, but usually you'd only ever see like one in another store. So if we take a look in here, I'll move it so you can see. Come on out, guys. There you go. We have quite a few in here. You can see a bunch under this coconut hut and the different range in size. So you've got a good chance of getting boys and girls and you could be spawning them if you spent a couple of years doing it. We've also got the Epistogramma Super Reds or Fire Reds in here and some uh, Habrosis Corridoras. So they, they can cohabitate in the warmer temperatures with the Epistos which is nice and uh, they're you know when you get this they look really good when they're young like look at the color on this little guy and uh, you know they're, they're safe in planted tanks outside of sword plants. You know, don't put them with your swords. Any plecos with swords, usually not a good idea because they'll eat them. But, you know, that guy, you might be like, hey, 60 bucks for that. But you might have a small tank right now. They grow pretty slow. So some people would actually be looking for the smallest one or enjoy watching it grow. Some people will be trying to breed them. They want the biggest ones they can get a hold of right away. But as you, you know, harass them, they're going to lose their color. Just a cool pleco that I think 
you know, most stores should carry. They're relatively easy to take care of. They like to eat a lot of meat and they're not, uh, being that they're locally bred, they come in nice and fat from Dean as opposed to, can be a little bit gaunt from a wholesaler sometimes. And then right here, this guy just looks cool. Green Phantom Pleco. Also the hyphen variety. So that guy's $85 as a comparison. And then if we move right into it, this is actually another one of the fish. We have the black rams, the midnight ram, as Dean calls it. Now, he's been stuck at home from COVID the whole year. He's been cranking these things out. So if you can get them, get them now, because once the, once the restrictions are off, Dean and I are traveling and we won't be spawning very much at all. So these guys, he brings them in, they sell. I actually was talking to Dean yesterday while we were working. Uh, someone drove up from California to buy some and someone's driving from Illinois to here to buy some, which we're in Washington state. So we, we, don't, we don't ship them or anything like that. That shows you kind of the rarity of, not only is Dean's quality really high because he's been working on it, but two, finding a decent amount. A lot of times you can find them in a store and they've got one or two because a lot of them will die off because they're not that healthy. And so here you can come and get a group, get males and females. They're incredibly hard to sex because of the black blocks, all the normal signs you see. You kind of go by your body shape, but if you were gonna attempt to spawn these, buy at least 12. And I know they're $35 each and that's crazy talk, but if you just wanna keep them, buy very few. But if you're looking like, I'm gonna take these back to another state, spawn them, sell them, make money. Don't do all that driving or flying with only like a pair or something. Get 12, because even Dean will lose some. They can get very aggressive with each other sometimes. And so, you know, as you invest that time, make sure you do it right. This is the yellow white cloud, something that I had never seen in person. It's actually a new species that was found. And it's just like a white cloud, except all the fins are yellow. And you can see like this male here, he's just starting to color up. And I suspect in about six months, uh, they're gonna look amazing. And once some pictures and some video gets out of adults, everyone's gonna want these. They're a little more spendy, they're 10 bucks a piece, where your average white cloud, which we have, is three bucks. Long fins are typically somewhere between six and 10, depending on time of year. But these guys right here, they've got a spot in my fish room. Once I'm done moving, they're going there. I'm gonna try and spawn them, and they look really nice. I think those, in a nano tank or even just a planted tank with a lot of red plants would look absolutely amazing.